Pep, just how excited are you by the levels, the standards that the side is setting at the moment? <coughs> well, good morning. It's it's better to be in that position, but it's just just in September. It's a long time, long games to to play, still to play. Well, how do you strike that balance? Because obviously, there's a lot of hype surrounding the side with the attacking football that they're playing, the goals that they are scoring as well. How as a manager do you strike that balance between keeping the feet on the floor and not getting carried away with it? No, nah, it's easy. So the players know it in September. So the last, the last years, uh, always Manchester City start good, and after we were not able to achieve our our results. So we just in September. So game by game and focusing on competition now, and uh, and uh, game by game. Can I just check on Kevin De Bruyne? There's been talk that he could be offered a, a new extended contract, improved terms. What is the situation there? And is he the kind of player that you love having around the place? No, I think so. Yeah. Uh, I think the, I said the last my previous last conference, so the, the, the transfer window closed in first of September, but uh, we're still working on it. And of course, and we want to like a club. We want a Kevin and the other one to stay a little longer. As possible, as much as possible. Um, hello, Pep. Uh, may I ask you about the atmosphere at the moment? I appreciate that that intensity is still there that has been there since you've arrived at the club. I'm sure you want the focus to continue, but there's a lot of smiles on a lot of your players' faces now at the moment. It, it seems to be really enjoyable to play for Manchester City. Well, we win. But you were winning at this this time last year, but they just it just the, it feels like is there nothing different for you? You think? The smiles are in our face, were in our faces last season in that period, too. So uh, we win, and we win every season, and all all we are looking at and observing and saying, "Oh, that's good, that's good," is because we are winning. So we have to do is keep going in that, but uh, that is the secret. So we are professionals, and uh, all the players are here to win games, and when. They win their private lives. Our life, like a professionals, are better. So it happened here and how all the teams around the world, no matter the, the division, are you playing? So it, that is the reason why. And I know you don't want to get carried away because obviously the map that you won at the same time last year. But you know what a winning and a special team is. Can you see the the start of something particularly special now? Believe me, what my feeling is a lot of times we play in that way last season, but in the in the boxes we were we were not good, so so that that game would happen in the last season. For example, they had two chances, one of loss of cheek, and one cross or whatever. Last season was goal, and that season no. And uh, the last minute, uh, in the first half we scored a goal. Last season didn't happen once. So we are, I think, we are more comfortable now in the terms of when we arrive there, we are feeling oh maybe we're going to score a goal, and when they arrive we defend better. So. But the average, the how many chances we create or how many chances we concede, I don't know the statistics, but it's quite similar, I think, so, on the last season. And the difference is, of course, when you win, you win again. But I said, like I said before, so, so the stability of one team, when you believe, okay, it's stable, the day after is going down. So you have to be careful and work in our habits, habits and our fundamentals, and always we can do better. And tomorrow is another test to, to show that. Is it possible to compare how this squad is adapting to you and you to them with what happened at Bayern Munich and what happened at Barcelona and how long it's taking to evolve? Well, it's too early to say that many things because uh, we have players here that uh, we, I didn't have in the past and I don't have players I had in the past. So, so it's difficult to me to compare because at least in there when I... Where there is easy to defend our 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 ideas because we won a lot of titles here. We didn't win absolutely anything, so and we'll be judged for that. So the brilliant, the style, and all these kind of things. Only I can talk about that. It's me, but I defend 100% what I'm talking about. You are demanding titles, not the way we played. So that is that is I have to to try to win the titles, and and for that you have to win games. How was how was Benjamin Mendy came off on on Saturday? We're going to make proofs test if he's able to play. Um, in terms of the fullbacks, it, Benjamin, Kyle, and Daniel, they got four assists between them. Can you just talk about how they offer something 
at full back that maybe you didn't have last year in terms of attacking? I don't like, believe me, I don't like to say how old for now because I am denying how good they were my fullbacks last season. So when I'm saying, oh, they got Mendy has that and the other one I'm talking about in the subtitles, I am saying that my previous fullbacks were not good enough. And that is not true. They did really well. They did really well the way because, but we decided to change, especially for the age. That is only Pablo th thought, so that is my last period, but. Cola decided to move on to Rome again, and uh, and Gael and, and, and Bakari, they were 32, 33 years old, and we, we thought we need energy, we, we thought young, young fullbacks. That was the reason why. But I don't like to compare because every player is completely different. And they, they, they had quality, for example, they don't have the, the guys who we have now. No? But the guys who had the quality to go up and down with that energy, so that's why we, we make it. His effort, our club make this effort to, to take them. Pep, it was, it was this game last year against Celtic where your winning run came to an end. Does that serve as a bit of a warning for you for this time around? Uh, it's the seventh time I played against Shakhtar Donetsk in my career. Once final Super Cup and uh, three times in the Champions League. And every time I played before them, I have the same feeling, the same... Uh, yeah, the same feeling. So I remember the first time we faced in the in the group stage against them. My 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 team were to to see them and come back and say wow. So I'm really impressed against the team I saw right now. Fernandinho playing in that moment. Douglas Costa, a lot a lot of Brazilian and European and good players. And in Barcelona, it's all the time it was the same. So Shakhtar Donetsk, the problem is Ukraine team. Who cares? Uh, which players play in that team? Nobody knows them. And I can assure you that one of the best teams in terms of playing football. They play with five or six Brazilian guys, all of them, yeah. with Tyson Marlon, with Bertrand, with Eder. So they are a good, good players. And always they have a good team. Always was so tough for me, for our Barcelona team, by my team beat them. We have a good result, but always so tough. The final we won extra times. And uh, I have a lot of respect. And just they beat one of the best teams playing football right now, like Napoli. Napoli is one of the three or four or five better teams playing football in results because they are leading in the Italian league and they were able to beat them. So our group of stage have a tricky. The people said, OK, Napoli, it's not Juventus, not Milan, not Inter, uh, Shakhtar Donetsk, Ukraine. They have tricky. That group is tricky. And of course, it depends on our hands. If we are able to, to save it at home, especially in our next two games will be a big gap to go to achieve 80 finals in February. Um, but uh, the players today are going to see how good they are. And hopefully I can convince them to take seriously. Of course, Champions League is serious. You play 30 minutes, we play in the first half in Crystal Palace. will be so complicated. We are out in the Champions League against Monaco because in 180 minutes we play 45 minutes bet and we are out. So in that level, you cannot uh, concede a lot, a lot of minutes not playing good, not be serious. Uh, because Shakhtar Donetsk, for my experience against them, deserve all, all my credit. Pe Pep, I know, I know you've been asked um, a lot about Sergio, but with him being a, a goal away from the equal in the club's record, do you, do you feel, not just in terms of goal scoring, but uh, he's all-round plays, he's a more rounded incomplete player now than the one you inherited say 12 14 months ago do, do you it, feel there's there's a there's more you've helped bring out more it's a world. question it's a question you only can ask him answer uh, only can answer sergio so will be arrogant presumed to us and disrespect, disrespectful for my other colleagues so i'm thinking i i made better sergio than the other one so i never said that one word in my all colleagues or my players all players so all I can say is as soon as possible can achieve that record. Like this, we cannot talk about that. So I'm pretty sure in the next games it's going to happen. So last game again, I scored a goal. I had two or three chances more. So that is the sense of the striker that we have. And um, and of course, help a lot. The now Rush, for example, again, two more goals. I was there. We are able to score more goals, more people. And the other opponents can be more focused on the other guys, not just with Sergio. And and he's more free in that position to score more goals. But of course, I said last year and I said 
every time Sergio has no, no, no doubt so one of the best strikers in the world I, I just w rephrasing the question then I just wonder whether from your perspective you feel he's more at the place you want him to be in terms of what you I want think from your team and how I, I, I think the quality that he had in the past is exactly the same maybe now we play more more with him so our our when we play we're looking at more not just in the finishing part in the score a goal so in the process before Sergio has just scored a goal say before last season with me eh? so he just to score a goal there now when in the process when John or Nico or Vincent or Dino or Yaya has the ball always we know he's there and we are and that helps to be more involved so it's difficult to say come on Sergio try to be more involved in our game we didn't pass one ball so it's difficult I think that's my feeling now Everybody knows it's there and we're going to try and the quality to set the ball, the quality to dribbling a one. For example, like the, the last goal he scored in Crystal Palace or the action he made here, the dribbling one or two or three guys. That is, that is the one. So we needed that. So when he arrived, had the ability to take a risk to dribbling one or two because his first meters, his first steps, wow, it's so quick. And he's so powerful in, uh, in the legs. And, uh, and, and we need not just to score a goal in the first pause in one touch, you know, make these into elections. And I'm so happy and so glad he's, uh, he's doing that. So happy. Hi, Bab. Um, is there a chance Vincent Company could return tomorrow? And how is Ilkay Gundogan? Uh, Ilkay yesterday training, uh, part of the training. No part of the training. He, he was floater, so he just played with the ball. Uh, and Vincent is still not ready for tomorrow. He's not ready? No. no. Sam? Hi, uh, Kevin De Bruyne said over the weekend that he's one of five players on the Players' Council um, with Fernandinho, Silva, Company and Aguero. Um, what does that actually involve for them to do and how important is it for you to have five guys like that in the squad that you can presumably give The most important thing, he likes to be part of that. And there are players and there are process. So you are a teenager, girlfriend, marriage, kids. So that is the same. So you arrive in one, but when you win something or you deserve something, credit what you have done on the pitch and off the pitch, you have to make the next step. With the new players are coming, like Cal, the other one, have to see, have to be helped for the guys who was a long time ago. And Kevin need, needs that. Yeah, it's, it's a part to say, okay. I have to make a step forward, not just playing good, you know, the mentality to help the other ones and to winning games. And I'm so, I'm so happy that he is, he's there. So what do you ask of, of these five players? What, what do you want from them? Well, the role for the captains. So, seeing in the club, seeing in teammates, in the bad moments, make a step forward. Uh, all all the, the rules, not right and rules, the, the, the captains, must to do, or have to, have to tell, or have to say. They have to do that. So it's like in Europe when, like Real Madrid and Barca, have three or four captains. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Pep. Um, obviously, Mendy seems to be okay. But if you do lose one of your fullbacks uh, with a, a serious injury, could it give you a problem long term? We are going to find a solution. Have you have you got solutions in mind then? Yeah. Can you tell us any of them? No. <laughs> it's more it's funnier when you go to the stadium and see that in on the pitch. But that is just words. So, but of course you have to prepare. in some problems that happen. Find a solution. Well, obviously Fabian Delph is one of them. Is is do you see him as yeah. as, as a left back from now on? Yeah. No, he's a midfield player, but of course he can play in that position. Uh, when one person is nice, when a person is thinking what can do for the team, always you can play whatever you want. When one guy just thinking in yourself, so sometimes more complicated. And Fabi is one a person. Uh, the only I, I am concerned is to keep to keep him uh, fit, uh, to avoid uh, injuries. But Fabi can help us a lot. So last season not played regularly, but most of the time. Was injured at times. My decision, but when he played, I remember in Stamford Bridge last season, or against Hull City here, all the minutes he played last season, last last games, always playing high level, always. Pep, uh, may I ask you? It's 
No. Sorry. Uh, may I ask your thoughts about Gabriel Jesus' uh, behavior in this Champions League environment? It's his first one, and uh, it seems that his debut against Feyenoord, it was like another game for him in a positive way, no extra pressure. What are your thoughts about it? Gabriel is, uh, Gabriel is holding out an option, and he had the last game two, didn't play, but had an option. Everybody had an option to play. Now I have five strikers, which I, I, I trust a lot, a lot of them. And uh, there's no doubt about his capacity, ability, his impact when he arrived to get in here. So in all terms, on off the pitch. And so I'm delighted with him. Of course, tomorrow is a guy who helps us a lot in the terms to help Sergio to score the goals. Uh, in our pressing and dynamic, in, uh, in, in fighting and a lot of things that maybe we didn't have with, with him we have. And it's so important because the quality to score goals, it's, 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 he has that. And, and the most important thing is the age. So he's so young. So he's just 21 or 22 years, striker number nine from Brazil. So and uh, how you see him, how he train every single day and he fight every game. So has the desire to become a good, a real good player in the world football. And that is so important for us.